Shabtik is the chief spokesman of our party. Shovik is the executive body member and Shoradip is the youth wing secretary. And I, Rasdip, is a veteran member of the party and has been with the party since its inception. Good evening, Mumbai and the rest of India. It is, it is with immense pain that I speak here today. Our hero, our leader and inspiration, Bal Keshav Thakre, is no longer with us today. His thought and principles will live on forever, uh, but his guiding hand will, will, be de will be dearly missed in our lives. Mr. Thakre was more than just a political leader. He is, he is the reason why Mumbai is what it is today. All his life he worked for the welfare of the Marathis and fought for them. Mumbai was his pride and passion. None seeking his help was ever disappointed. And today, as disturbing as it may be, Mumbai has lost its champion. He would have been humbled by the fact that Mumbai has not forgotten him today. As was evident from the fact that almost 20 lakh people came out on the streets to mourn for him. Sadness, pain and insecurity reigns throughout Mumbai today. Mothers will no longer feel safe from knowing that their children will be going up in the same city as Bala Shaib. Fathers will know that future generations will no longer feel as secure in their jobs as they did. And children will grow up without the hand of a guardian angel to look out for them. Mumbai will miss Bala Shaib. In this sad and anxious hour, several incidents have occurred which may appear disturbing to many. However, we need to reflect on the fact that Bala Shaib has de had dedicated his entire life to working for the people of Mumbai. Is it really tough to dedicate a couple of days from a happy life in appreciation for the, all those years? Mumbai wasn't in a standstill. It was in mourning and still is. Although the incidents that have occurred in Palghar are immensely regrettable, Mumbaikas already dealing emotionally and from the loss of their leader got carried away and unfortunately took matters in their own hands. The entire matter could have been avoided if such selfish comments hadn't been made with, which meant utter disres disrespect for the great man. People should have understood that those were the words from the ungrateful and the ignorant. However, political, political parties and others who are trying to make cheap publicity from this incident need to understand that just like children don't tolerate any insults made about their mother and instead fight back, it would be fair to expect Mumbaikas to, to not tolerate such disrespect towards the leader. Mumbai always has and will stand up for its leaders, just like it did today. Jai Maharashtra. Thank you.